So now let's add in some cracks. Okay, so I've got a ground crack image here. Let's drop it in here underneath our rotoscope. And there we go. Let's make it 3D layer. And we'll set the blending mode to overlay. Oh. Okay, so let's just scale this down. And let's solo this and the footage. So let's just make some cracks here. So let's rotate this. Like that. Let's just make one big crack for now and just put it about here and then we can duplicate it. And maybe put like a detailed one here. We can even like flip it. That Let's, and just keep doing this. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, so once you've done some cracks indentation, you can pre-compose these. So let's pre-compose and we'll call this cracks on red wall hit ok and we'll set this to overlay so we got that now let's unsolo this and let's add in another different cracks but this time it's going to be on this building on this um this building sorry <laughs> and let's put it on top of our rotoscope and let's make it a 3d layer set this to overlay and let's scale it down and then let's push it rotate it so that it looks like it's parallel with this side wall. So let's just scale it down here and just start uh, making copies. So I'm going to do this quickly, so I'll be back. Okay, so once you've done that, we can pre-compose these and call it cracks on roto. And we'll overlay it. And oh, and be sure to track, uh, set all of your footage and pick with it to the tracking data so that it follows the cam the hand movement. Okay, so let's add in some smoke. So I've got this dark smoke and we're gonna put it right on, the, on top of our footage. And we're gonna place it up here. Let's get rid of this harsh bottom. F, feather out. And we wanna speed this up. like maybe I don't know 40 percent so as soon as the explosion happens if I can just get this explosion uh, we want the smoke to come on so 
I want the smoke to start rising up. So when the smoke comes, anytime now. Yeah, so I wanted the smoke to rise up as it's as the explosion is still happening. So maybe I'll push it in a little bit more. Something like that. Okay. And our smoke is not matching with our original explosion lighting. So we can add the exposure effect. And let's add in another curves adjustment. So let's uh, match it up. So we can see here, let's brighten it up. And something like that. And it's looking a little green. So I might boost the green channel up a bit. Not too much though. And maybe add a little bit of red. So that our smoke matches with our uh, lighting for this. And I want to time the cracks um, so that it comes on as, as soon as the explosion happens. So if I just unsolo all of this. So I want the cracks to come on at this point. So, oh, this up there. Okay, so I'll go line it up there. And I want the cracks to be underneath the explosion. Okay. And maybe we could push this down a bit. I'm using the arrow keys just to push it down. Okay. That looks good. Alright, so. And we're gonna pick up this track and get up there. Alright, so. Let's make two adjustment layers. So control Y and control Y. Let's call this one uh, CC. And let's call this one dark. Okay. And we'll make a solid. We'll make it black. And we'll call this flare. Okay, so let's put this dark in on top of our footage here. And I want to bring the levels effect and I want to crush some of this white down because when we add glows, it starts to get blown up. So let's just crush the white down on this sky here. Maybe in a little bit of the gray area that that's looking okay and let's add in our color correction no sorry not color correction stylized glow that's looking okay let's bring this down let's set this to screen and let's bump this back up Let's bring the threshold into this explosion here. And let's change it to AB colors. So let's go into like a orange. So we want to make this tight. So and let's do 
duplicate it. Let's spread this out, make it a bit softer. And let's bring the intensity down. Let's darken it. Let's make this more on the red side. Same goes for our second glow. Make it more on the red side. One more glow, so control D, and we'll make this even softer. And we'll make it like drop the intensity a bit, and like maybe drop the threshold, or maybe about 80%, like that. We want to make this first one a bit tighter so it's within the glow. And we can add our usual contrast on top. That. Our gradients are looking good for our explosion. Um, maybe we can just like adjust the white on our explosion. So if we come here, we can bring the lightness a bit more up. That's fine. And then all of our stock footage comes in. So like that, I want, maybe I want the us to come on a bit larger so something like that maybe I can make it a bit more brighter okay so my glow is affecting this area so I'm gonna have to darken it even more with my levels like that Okay, it's looking okay. All right, and then for our flare, I'm gonna be using optical flares by Video Copilot. So I do apologize if you don't have it. We'll set this to screen, and let's go into the options here. Cool. So here we are in optical flares. Maybe we can use the conspiracy presets and we could use one of these so which one did i use i think i used this information can't remember but anyway we'll use that okay so it's looking all shiny let's add the texture image to dodgy Let's add the illumination radius up. Maybe I want it dirty. And bring the brightness up. Okay. That looks okay. Hit okay. And so let's tint it more of an orange color. Okay, so at the initial explosion, so I'm using page down to go frame by frame. I wanted to start at this point.
point. So like that. And let's go and bring the brightness down and the scale down as well. So there, hit you as soon as it comes on. Let's bring it back up. And then as the explosion happens, I want it to be pretty bright. Maybe not that bright, but maybe about 180. Let's go with 190 instead. Maybe I could just bring it back down after when the explosion happens. So somewhere about there. Let's hit F9 to smooth that out. And there we go. All right, let's check out our preview. Okay, so it's not looking too bad, but I think I want my sparks and my cracks to come on much earlier. So I want the cracks to come on maybe at this point, at the flare's peakest so that it kind of hides. And I want my sparks to come on much earlier. So let's bring our sparks in. Let's just time it up. Let's bring this down and bring the dust wave back up. Okay, so that's looking much better. So let's get our building explosion and let's drop it into a new comp and let's sit and let's scrub along the timeline so somewhere here is good let's hit F9 for these and let's go into window uh, we go and let's do jagged and let's do, I think my values were like 8, like 20 or something. I can't remember. And let's scale this up maybe to 106. So that the hides all the edges outside here. And let's check out our preview. Alright, let's check this out. Cool. Okay, so that is looking pretty good and it's just a matter of adjusting like what you want to come on and what you don't want to come on. But um yeah, so it's just just trial and error guys. So uh it's always good to also just to color code your um like your comp just to make it a bit more cleaner and not to make it all messy and stuff like that. But you guys know how to do that. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's a long, long tutorial, but you really are getting some nice detailed explosions here. You're getting some correct color grading on the gradients for the reds and the blacks. And adding some detail cracks, sparks, smoke, glass, dust, <laughs> anyway. So thank you everyone, my name's David, I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more. Please subscribe guys, if you watch this video, it really does support the channel. Um, yes, and I will continue to make videos for you guys. And I will see you in the next video.